So hello, this is freaking cool. All right, uh, I just gotta show you guys my Minecraft world. I kind of showed you guys it before, like I was talking about it like last freaking video that I was going to show you guys. So here it is, dude. Um, I guess we can start off with a bit of a tour. Have a couple of mods installed, obviously. This is just a cobblestone generator. Okay, let's for all the cobblestone. Got a couple of freaking things. We, we already killed the dragon, raided some shit. You know, freaking tackle box. Bunch of backpacks, all the cool crap. Uh, I don't know, nice little setup for cutting board with food. This is Chris's bed. Um, I got a little sheep farm going here because I need the wool. A little bit of some cows we don't, really, we don't really use. We had an iron farm here, but we had to move it today. It didn't really work very well there. Sorry if I have a list, but I have my retainers in currently. It's a little later, so yeah. Um, this was for bees. A couple bees in here. Uh, it's just bee breeding. As you can see, got the flowers in there. The alliums, whatever you call them. Enchantment, disenchanter. I'll show you guys another in a bit. It's pretty pretty roughed out. Um, over here, I'm just gonna show you like a little tour of my world, you know. Another big thing you guys are looking at. Don't worry, uh, we'll get to that. A little simple villager breeder. You know, got the carrots outside. Real simple. Fortunately, this thing does spawn golems because of the ceiling, but I like having a three block high ceiling because who the hell likes a two block and you can just slam your freaking head on top. You know what I mean? Get some more spacey plus. I want to turn this into officially the villager trading hall. That's the plan for this. Yeah, you can hear my list pretty bad. I already have a looting three villager. The reason why I need looting three. I accidentally my sword weird too. Uh, the reason why is because currently I'm trying to farm some wither skeleton skull to fight the wither. Because with that we can make da -da -da -da, the angel ring. Basically, we can we can fly, and we can also use it uh, as power too. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to think about. I have Ender. I believe I have Ender IO installed. Nope, I don't have it. Um, what is it at? What does it use? Oh, thermal, thermal series. So yeah, I mean we can we can we have all this shit. Diamond dust lead. Yeah, I mean you get the point, right? We can do all this crazy crap. They can fly, which is what I really want to do to finish off this uh, this monument. Now, just to be clear, this is not my castle. This is a castle by, holy crap, I'll show you guys at the end. I I can actually, yeah, I'll show you guys at the end. I'll show you, I have the uh, world, world file saved. I can't remember their name though. But this is not my castle, okay? I only pre-built it with a schematic. You can see. Schematic, you see? Um, however, I don't know, the, the, the idea behind it is like, this is floating in the middle of the ocean, gotta get rid of this entire mountain here, which is also why we need a beacon, you know, right, that's good, it's, it'll be pretty easy though, since we have some freaking cool mods, like, we have an excavator mod, which we can break trees really fast, and dirt, whatever, but yeah, the whole point, I think I want to put like a, a, a little bit of a bigger lake down here, okay, I'm actually just gonna inspect her mode, uh, I thought about it before, I don't think going to Spectre Mills would be cheating, as long as you're not like spawning yourself like in the XC Diamonds, you know what I mean? Like I don't think I'm doing that kind of shit. But just check stuff out like this. I think it's perfect. So yeah, the plan is to extend, get rid of this little mountain. I haven't told Chris yet, but get rid of this little mountain, extend this to where the mini map, the water kind of surrounds it all. Also rough out some of the edges, because this looks kind of goofy like this. The floating fucking block. Then with Angel Ring, I should be able to add some more little like almost the lag tights kind of thing. Bring this thing down to a little point. Okay. And officially what we want to do is kind of surround like the sides of the mountains with houses, actually. You know, so we're gonna push them back quite a about 30 blocks in, in every direction. And push everything out. But yeah, make like uh basically the side of the mountain houses, right? Kind of like hobbit houses almost. But we want to do more of like a Rivendell, which I actually have, uh, if you guys didn't see, I have a Rivendell, Rivendell schematic. Uh, if you didn't know, Rivendell is from Lord of the Rings. It's really cool. So that's the plan with this thing. Uh, in fact, actually, let me show you guys. We also want to throw a storage room down here. This is all empty, obviously. Holy crap, dude. Is that what they've been doing? 
The Enderman? Holy crap. They just throw shit down here? That's crazy. But yeah, throw we have we have um I'll show you guys actually. We have at Tom's simple storage. Which is basically just it's an infinite sword essentially. But the thing is we do need uh, a freaking beacon, right? To be able to do all this other crap. A full beacon. So what does that mean? We need to fight some, do we, not only do we need to fight the wither, but we also need an ample amount of uh, beacon building materials. So, what what does that entail? Where? As you can see. Boom! Look at that. Honey, this was honeycomb specifically for the uh, castle. We need to shoot some candles, and that's why I also have the bee farm for this. So you can see we have a little mob thing. Obviously, I didn't create any of these. I want one to specify that. I didn't create any of these. Um, I cannot remember their, their, their names though. I'm so sorry. I think this is Tings. This one was Tings. I think they were both actually. T I N G S. I think they were both Tings. This is my design. It's a little, a lot, a lot, quite inefficient, as you can see. <laughs> uh, this one, again, it's just a normal, it's just a freaking iron farm. Not very efficient because I need to extend, or we need to, this is this thing. We need to extend the, this thing quite a ways out because obviously we don't want the golden, we don't want the golden spawns. You know, no, we don't want that shit. Uh, this is a three villager system, you know. A little efficient, but for for just a simple beacon, I think it'd be perfect. All right. And finally, nether side, right? Well, I mean, what's the nether looking like? Is what, 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 what probably none of you are asking. Oh, I also have a flower farm, I forgot. Which only produces these, I think they're called azaleas. No. Well, I have to call something. And Azure's Azure, A Z U R E, and those. So it was good for the bees, though, All right? Uh, sorry. Let's go to the Wither Skeleton Farm. So, this is another one by T I N G S, I believe. Uses, uh, what is it, turtle egg and a golem in the middle. Now, the only bad thing is. Uh, I didn't spawn proof it well enough, so I, I, I'm not. Re I suddenly realized like how much I need to spawn proof, you know, or mine out completely. Which definitely gonna be a tall order, but it's not impossible. Okay, like it's whatever. It's not impossible. But yeah. With that being said, actually, I can show you guys. We kind of got. We already got one skull here. I believe. Yeah, we already got one skull. But we're gonna need a couple of freaking wood nether stars. We need one for this, we need four for the angel ring. Technically, technically we need about, it'll be easy though, you know? It'll be super easy to grab this shit. Cause I wanna do like, instead of, I wanna do FE. I don't really care for the other things. We got leadstone, we got hardened, reinforced, and the resonant. But yeah. I really want to get the angel ring. I want to get the lead stone, rather. Just because, again, it uses power instead of XP. But, the, the, the opposite of that is, is then why not just create an enemy XP farm? Which, to that I say, you're completely correct. I'm probably going to need one either way for the ender pearls. Because, thermal. But, the big plan for this world, is we keep, you just keep playing it. You know, we hop on for an hour, maybe at a time. Play it for a little bit. Um, not even using the server, we're using Essential, the mod. It basically makes it so you can host worlds. See? Really cool mod. Makes it so you don't have to buy a freaking server. And it's way less laggy than than uh, normal servers and shit. Like, I used to use Bicep hosting. That shit was laggy as fuck, bro. But now, not at all. No lag at all. I mean, well, we get lag every once in a while, but it's like the normal amount, you know? And any lag you get on like a hypixel server, let's say. So I would show you guys some Bed Wars PvP, but I don't really want to go solo because that's stupid. And that's not very fun going solo. So I think this is it. I think I wanted to show you guys all this, you know? And to finish it off, I'm just going to show you guys the creator of this. I believe it is this one, the Castle of Agnar. I have no idea who the fuck 
as is now. Great. Yikes. But yeah, I wanna I wanna make a, a sick a crap ton of stuff. I wanna make a Hogwarts castle, freaking uh, I have a lot of stuff planned for this for this world. I really wanna make like a dwarven city. I really wanna do that. I think that'll be really, really fun. Think about how to do that though, you know? Like should I do a perimeter? If you guys want a perimeter, it's basically uh, like I should turn the chunks that are completely that are blown up by uh, a world leader. Just TNT duplicates essentially. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. Seeing see if I can seeing what that's gonna be like, you know. But with that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow for freaking hamstring and triceps, dude. Peace. Thank you for watching. I know this is a little bit this concept is a bit different. I figured I'd try it out. You know, I've been wanting to, so yeah. I've always wanted to be a freaking gamer, dude. I'm a gamer at heart. Holy crap. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, so peace out. Maybe next time we'll we'll do some Kingdom Rush stuff, huh? That'll be fun. Alright, bye dude.